Hello, welcome to Oxford Heirlooms. Today, we're gonna to be working on preparing the lace for the leg openings. But one thing I did preliminarily before I'm doing the lace, I've gotten my pattern piece out and I marked the position of the buttons on the back of the diaper cover. Okay, the next thing I needed to do was I needed to cut two pieces of entredeau that are roughly the length of the leg opening. So I just laid my entredeau along the leg opening, left, gave myself about an inch of wiggle room on either side, and I've cut two pieces of entredeau. So I've got my two pieces of entredeau, one for each side of the leg openings. The next thing I need to do is I need to cut some pieces of laces that are one and a half times the length of the entredeau. So I'm gonna use the three halves method that I use fairly often. So I'm going to measure out one half of the length of lace, a second half of the length of lace, and a third half of the length of lace, and then I can cut that. And since I need two pieces, I'm gonna come down and cut a second piece. Okay, since this is, once again, I'm going to do my little, well, hold on, first thing I need to do is I need to trim the entredeau on one side. So using my embroidery scissors, I'm simply gonna trim the entredeau from one side of the lace. So this will take me a minute to cut. Okay, I have that entredeau hemmed. Now I'm gonna use this little method that you may have seen me do before. Uh, since the entredeau has a little bit of length to it and so does the lace, um, I like to make sure that the lace is gathered along the entredeau as evenly as possible. So I like to make a little blue mark in the center of my entredeau and also a blue mark in the center of my lace. Just like that, just make a little blue mark. And then before I actually start gathering, I'm gonna line up those two blue marks and I'm gonna pin them into place. Just pin the lace to the entredeau in the center. And then I've got on both sides, I've got a length of lace that's one and a half times the length of the entredeau. Now I need to gather this on both sides and I'm gonna do this off camera because um, sometimes it takes me a couple of tries with a silk pen to grab a header thread from out of the lace and start gathering. So I'll be back in a minute once I get this lace gathered. Okay, I've got that lace gathered up and I'm gonna unpin it now and I'm gonna set my sewing machine to a zigzag with the appropriate stitch length and stitch width for sewing entredeau. Let me see if I can zoom in here. Okay, and I'm going to, since I don't use a fancy lace attaching foot, I'm simply going to butt my lace up next to my entredeau and begin to zigzag it together. Okay, I'm gonna lower my presser foot, make sure I'm in an entredeau hole and not stabbing the entredeau, and then I'm gonna very slowly start zigzagging the lace together. Now you gotta go kinda slow because since this is fairly narrow lace, it's real easy for the lace to get a kink in the gathers. Okay, this will take me a minute to do this, so I'll be right back. Okay, I have a piece of gathered lace for both of the legs. Now in the next video, we will attach the lace to the side of the legs. Now this is not Moline lace, so it's not one-sided, but it is directional, and I'm gonna wanna make sure, can you see how those little flowers kind of point in one direction? I am gonna wanna make sure that my flowers are all pointing up 
going up the front of the leg opening because I did that on the sleeves and the front of the diaper shirt. So I want to have that pointing in the same direction on the front. But that's what we'll, do, we'll be doing in the next video. But in this video, we were preparing gathered lace to sew onto the diaper cover. Thank you.